Trump was acquitted in his impeachment trial. What? What? This what? isn't a thing that we've been predicting since the beginning. Uh, and so that may have actually strengthened his tra chances in the, the Democratic primary moving forward. So if we compare where Trump is at his re-election re year in February to where Obama was at during his re-election year in February, Trump is doing drastically better. Trump, Trump is doing much better than Obama was doing. He's up at 49% approval rating, mm. uh, up from 39% before the impeachment started. Uh, we knew sort of since the beginning, uh, this impeachment is uh, a pretty narrow set of things you're trying to get him on that aren't necessarily even illegal. Their own, you know, obstruction of Congress is not a thing. Obstruction of justice is an illegal thing. Obstruction of Congress is just like, hey, we didn't want to go to the judges and you didn't do what we said right away. We're gonna, we're mad about it. Um, ultimately, it seemed petty. It, there was a lot of back and forth. There was a lot of empty a accusations, and it all sort of hinged on uh, very fuzzy Russia stuff from the Mueller report that, that ended up at least setting the tone for it. Not that anything was specifically Russia-related. It was all Ukraine-related, although they did end up mentioning Russia a bunch of times in it as much as people say, it had nothing to do with Russia, don't say that. Uh, it was totally about Ukraine, even though we used the Russia thing. So here's an interesting point from the article that I have here from the Gray Zone. Uh, I think it's Max Blumenthal here says, the Democrats uh, turned unsubstantiating cla unsubstantiated claims that Russia spent a few hundred thousand dollars on social media advertisements, a tiny fraction of the billion spent by corporations and the rich on presidential campaigns. Uh, in lurid allegations of a Russian plot against America in which Trump served as uh, a puppet of Putin. Throughout the process, the Democrats' relation to Trump uh, had a schizophrenic character. While they bitterly opposed the administration on foreign policy matters affecting the strategic in uh, interests of, the American, uh, of American imperialism, they were and remain eager to work with him on key elements, elements of the ruling class policy on which they agree, particularly on social and economic policies to continue the enrichment of the financial oligarchy. This began when President Barack Obama's declaration immediately after Trump, Trump's election that his, quote, number one priority was to, quote, facilitate a transition that ensures our president-elect is successful. Obama coupled this with the declaration that the election was an in intramural scrimmage between two sides quote, on one team. The Democrats then collaborated with Trump uh, in ensuring passage of his corporate tax cuts, his attacks on immigrants, his record uh, military budgets, and his aggress aggressive actions against Venezuela, China, and other countries. Okay. Ultimately, they are not really combating Trump in any substantial or meaningful way. They like to have Trump as a punching bag so they can be like, look, orange man, bad. Uh, Russia, 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 and then when that doesn't pan out because they have been completely unskeptical of it and just gone with it every step of the way because bad for Trump, uh, then this happens and ultimately he comes away looking better, looking like he has a win. Republicans are ready to capitalize on this and Democrats have shot themselves in the foot marching into a general election.